So now it's time for the five best budget-friendly adults-only all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. And if you're new here, this is the second video of a series of videos that I'm doing called the best of 2023. I compiled this list based on the awards given out for 2023, plus my own personal experience and research. And I also consulted our travel agency partners for some of their most booked resorts for 2023. Another criteria was it had to be within an hour of the airport. Since I'm only traveling usually for three days and trace notes like our channel name, it's really important that we're close to the airport. But there's one exception in this video. I could not leave it off the list, so you'll find out about that later. I know budget-friendly can really mean different things to different people. So for this video, in order for the resort to be on the list, it had to be under $400 per night for two people. And it was nearly impossible to narrow this list down to just five resorts. So at the end of the video, I will go over some honorable mentions. If you are new to our channel, Three Days and Trace Noches, we would love for you to subscribe. We are going to be bringing you more videos like this one. We also do honest resort reviews and bring you travel tips and information about the destinations that we go to. Let's get started. Number one, and these are in no particular order, is Rio Palace Las Americas in Cancun. Now this is 35 minutes from the airport. It's in the hotel zone and it did receive the TripAdvisor winner of 2023. It gets four and a half stars and the price at this resort can be unbelievable. You can get this for under $200 a night depending if they're having a promotion and it is a very popular resort. A lot of people in our Facebook group rave about it. People do love a good value. It has three outer pools, five restaurants, Again, all inclusive with a buffet and six bars, one of them being a swim up bar. I love where it's located, which is in the heart of the hotel zone, so right in the middle of all the action. And the water is that clear, crystal turquoise blue color that everybody looks for when they go on vacation. Some of the downsides that I read in the reviews, one is that the food is hit or miss, and this is going to be very typical for all budget friendly, all inclusive resorts. So if you're going to choose, budget friendly, then usually the food is budget friendly and it's about average. You're gonna have good things, you're gonna have bad things. It's kinda gonna be all over the place. You also have to get up early and reserve seats, which is very typical again of a budget friendly hotel. And this one in particular attracts a little bit more of a party and rowdy crowd. I think the Ryu resorts in general attract that kind of crowd. So if you're not looking for that party vibe, this might not be the resort for you. They also do not have swim up suites. So if that's really important to you, keep watching because some of the resorts coming up have them. Let's stay in the hotel zone for number two, which is Royalton Chick Cancun. Now this is about 30 minutes from the airport. It did receive the Traveler's Choice 2023 from TripAdvisor and has four and a half stars. Before I get into some details about this resort, I need to make a note about the pricing because this is really not considered a budget-friendly resort when you look at its regular pricing. So in order for this to be put into a budget-friendly category, usually you have to book it through a travel agent or a third-party package. Sometimes the resort also runs incredible promotions. It's also owned by Marriott, so a lot of people use their points as well, which is one of the reasons why this resort has been so popular for 2023 because people are getting budget-friendly pricing at a resort that is really considered a premium level resort. I personally have not been to this resort yet, but it's definitely on my list. I'm gonna be stalking those deals. It has nine restaurants, four pools. A few though are the diamond level. So you have to upgrade to get access to that. And their rooms look really beautiful and spacious, but they do not have swim up suites. This is definitely more of a party vibe resort. They really focus on making sure everyone is having a good time from morning until night. So they have daytime phone parties in the pool and they have amazing nightlife as well. Some downsides from the reviews that I read is again, just the inconsistencies with the food and the service. And this is gonna be a common theme with budget friendly all-inclusive resorts. For number three, let's start moving south with Haven Riviera. It's only 20 minutes away from the airport, receives four and a half stars from TripAdvisor. Now it really didn't receive any awards for 2023, but it was a highly booked resort, especially among travel agents in 2023, because similar to the Royalton Chick, it's really not considered budget friendly, but they have been offering such incredible package deals at this resort that it's putting it into the budget friendly pricing. Now I actually have been to this resort when it first opened around around five years ago before I started this channel. And they were definitely working some kinks out because there were only a few restaurants open and there were not many people there at all. 
But since then, they're up to seven restaurants, five or six bars, and just the interior. It's very beautiful since it's still on the newer side. They have beautiful swim-up suites and different room categories, including club level, which would then push it out of that budget-friendly pricing. In terms of food, I think it's typical of an all-inclusive resort where it may be a seven or eight out of 10. We have people in our Facebook group that go there every year and absolutely love it. It's definitely more tranquil. It's gonna be on the quieter side. I think the biggest downside for me is the beach. So it's located next to the Granite Moon Palace where there is just so much seaweed in the water. You really can't get in the water. That's usually year round. It's not a seasonal thing. So that's definitely a deterrent for people going there, which is why I think they offer such incredible promotions to go to this resort. So if you're really not a beach person and you're more of a pool person, this could be the perfect resort for you. Let's keep going south for number four, which is Ocean Maya Royale. This resort is about 40 minutes away from the airport. It did receive the Traveler's Choice Award from TripAdvisor for 2023 and has four and a half stars. I personally do not know a lot about this resort, but it was recommended to be put on the list by our travel agency partner because of how frequently it's requested and booked and the incredible pricing that you can get and the value that you get at this resort. This is a smaller resort, so if you are someone who does not like those huge resorts, it could be a great fit for you. Yet they still have a great variety of food and bars and activities. It's pretty lively as well. They have nightlife, they have daytime activities. I'm actually gonna tag another creator called Three Suitcases. It's a couple that also does reviews. And they did a great review of this resort. And at the end, they agreed that for the price that you're paying, you get a great value. Number five, this one is going against the rules a little bit. It's Barcelo Maya Riviera. Going against the rules of getting on this list because it's over an hour from the airport. It's about an hour and 10 minutes and that's without traffic. So with traffic, it could be more. But I had to put it on the list because I've personally been there. It's actually one of the first resorts reviewed with our channel. And I think for the price, it is a pretty incredible value. It did receive four and a half stars from TripAdvisor. It did not win any awards for 2023, but I wanted to put it on the list again because I had personally been there and really enjoyed this resort. This resort is next to the other Barcelo family friendly resorts and you get access to all of those resorts when you stay there. Now, when I went, it was in the middle of COVID, so I really didn't get the full experience because there were a lot of things that were closed. I would absolutely return to this resort, and I'm looking forward to going back and doing an updated review. I will tag the review in the description. It's one of my newer videos, so be kind. It's not the best quality, and YouTube actually ended up muting some of it because of the music licensing. I loved the views from the room from this resort. In fact, this is still the wallpaper on my phone. I loved it so much because it sits in that cove. You just have these expansive views. I also love the pools here. They have two huge pools. So there was plenty of room. It never felt overcrowded. And I just loved the layout in general. Typical for a budget-friendly, all-inclusive resort, the food was just average. I would say maybe a seven out of 10. I loved the buffet that they had for lunch and breakfast, it was huge. And then the a la carte restaurants at night were just kind of so-so. Let's talk about a few of the honorable mention resorts. First is from the Ibero Star Collection. They actually have two adults only in the Cancun area that are pretty popular, one in the hotel zone and one in Riviera Maya. Now I personally have been to two Ibero Stars, one in Punta Cana and the one in Riviera Maya, and I did not have the best experience, but one of those was during COVID, so I don't think it's the fairest judgment but I know many people love them. In fact, members of our Facebook group just came back from both of these resorts and gave glowing reviews. So the first thing I would suggest is to join our Facebook group, and I will put the link in the description because some of our members have been a lot more places than I have, and also it might align with some of the priorities that you are looking for in an all-inclusive resort. Another resort that I wanted to mention was Majestic Elegance Costa Mujeres, which is north of the hotel zone, and it's in a very quiet area. And we do a full review of this resort. And I feel like over the last few years though, there's been a lot of really mixed feedback. I think one of the major issues at this resort is the food at night. They have an amazing buffet, but their restaurants at night aren't that great. Also, it's not truly adults only. They have an adults only section. It's very, very small. And of course, if you need help booking any of these resorts or any resorts, I will put that information in the description as well. And I just wanted to remind you of one important thing when it comes to budget-friendly, all-inclusive resorts. I've already mentioned it a few times, but 
This is what I went for when I first started to travel, hoping to save money. And you just find out that you truly do get what you pay for. So be sure to watch the other video I did about the premium level adults only all inclusive resource because it'll give you an idea what you can get by paying just a little bit more. And of course, I would love to hear what your favorite budget friendly adults only all inclusive resorts are in Cancun. I also respond to all comments and questions, so just drop all of those in the comments section below. And if you're loving this series, please subscribe. In our next videos, we're going to talk about family all-inclusive resorts, luxury, and then we're going to move over to Punta Cana.